Hi, this is Andrew Stellman, author of Head First C Sharp, published by O'Reilly Media. In this video, I'll show you how to download and install Visual Studio, starting with a completely clean installation of Windows 10. Then we'll download code from the book and use Visual Studio to open and run projects that you downloaded. We started up Windows Sandbox to give ourselves an isolated environment without any software installed. The first thing we'll do is search for Microsoft's download page for Visual Studio Community Edition. Once we get to the page, we'll scroll down, click the download button, and run the installer. The Visual Studio installer will download its files and install itself. This could take some time, so feel free to skip ahead in the video. Once the Visual Studio installer opens, select the components you need for the book. We'll select ASP.NET and Web Development, .NET Desktop Development, and .NET Core Cross-Platform Development. The ASP.NET Web Development component is optional. You'll only need it if you want to run the Blazor web application projects, which you'll find in the Visual Studio for Mac Learners guide at the back of the book. You'll definitely need the other two components for the other projects in the book. Do not select the Game Development with Unity component. You'll install Unity separately at the start of Unity Lab 1. Once you've selected the components, click the Install button. This installation will take a while. We'll show you the whole thing in the video so you can see what it looks like, but feel free to skip ahead to the next section.
Visual Studio is now installed. Click the Launch button to launch it. We recommend that you create a Microsoft Developer account and sign in with it here, but we won't. You can also choose your color theme. Once you're done, click the Start Visual Studio button to start Visual Studio. It might take a minute or two for Visual Studio to prepare itself for the first use. Once it's done, it'll pop up the Open Project screen. This is the screen where you can create a new project or load an existing project. We'll create a new Hello World project just like we do at the start of Chapter 1. Click Create a New Project, then select .NET Core Console App and create the project. Visual Studio will think for a while while it's creating the project. Just be patient, give it a little time, and pretty soon it'll pop up. Here's your new Hello World project. Watch the status bar at the bottom of the window. Once it says ready, you can click the button at the top to run your app. Visual Studio will build your project and then run it and pop up a window where you'll see the output of your app. It'll print Hello World. Press any key to close the window after it's done running. Then close Visual Studio. You can close the installer too. In this next part, we'll download all of the source code for the book from our GitHub page. Open a web browser and navigate to github.com slash head-first-c-sharp slash fourth-edition. Once it's open, you can use the code dropdown near the top of the page to download a zip file with a code in the book. You can also scroll down or search for the text master.zip and click on the direct link to download the file. You can find that direct link in the Load the Chapter Projects in Visual Studio section of the page. When you click the link, save the file, it will save 4th edition master.zip. It's kind of big, so it might take a little while to download. Once it's done downloading, open up the zip file. Windows will let you navigate into a zip file without extracting it, which lets you conveniently extract a single project that you want to work with. We'll extract the Animal Match Game project from Chapter 1 by navigating into the Code folder, then the Chapter 1 folder, then dragging the Match Game folder onto the desktop. Open the Match Game folder you extracted and double-click on the .sln file. That's the Visual Studio Solution file. The code itself is in the Match Game subdirectory. The first time you open the Solution file, Windows will ask you how you want to open the file. Choose Visual Studio 2019 and click OK. Visual Studio will ask if you want to trust the source. Click OK and it will load. Watch the status bar at the bottom of the window. It will give you some messages about restoring NuGet packages. It might pop up a window asking, telling you that projects are loaded. But wait until it says ready before you run the game. Once it's ready, press the Run Match Game button at the very top of the window, and Visual Studio will build and run your game. Have fun playing the animal matching game that you're now running. When you're done, you can close Visual Studio and get ready to load another project. And you can go back to the Head First C Sharp YouTube channel to see a walkthrough of building the complete Animal Match game from Chapter 1. In this next part, you'll run the Blazor web application Animal Match game from Chapter 1 of the Visual Studio for Mac Learner's Guide at the end of the book. Start by dragging the Blazor Match Game folder out of the same Chapter 1 folder where you found the Match Game. Open it and open blazormatchgame.sln. That's the solution file for the ASP.NET WebAssembly version of the game. Again, Visual Studio will prompt you to trust the project. Click OK. Then wait until the project is fully loaded and you see Ready appear in the status bar at the bottom. It may take a little while to load the project. 
Also, keep in mind that even though this project is in the Visual Studio for Mac Learner's Guide at the end of the book, all of the Blazor WebAssembly projects in Hub for C Sharp will also work perfectly fine on Visual Studio for Windows. So it's a great way to get started with web development using Blazor and ASP.NET. Once you run the app, Visual Studio may prompt you to trust some certificates. Click yes. After you do, it will prompt up the app in a web browser. It may take a few seconds for it to load. Once it does, you can start playing the game. Congratulations, you're now running a Blazor WebAssembly web application. Once you're done playing, close the browser and you can go ahead and close Visual Studio. In this last part, you'll load and run a .NET Core console app project from the book. Go back to your zip file and navigate to the chapter 10 cold folder and drag the hide and seek part three folder out to extract it. Go to the extracted folder, then double click on hideandseek.sln to open up your solution in Visual Studio. You can find the project for this as a PDF download on our GitHub page. Again, Visual Studio will prompt you to press the source. In this case, this solution contains two projects, so you'll get prompted twice. Make sure you give it plenty of time to load the solution. You might see the word ready pop up for a second in the status bar at the bottom, but just wait for it to finish restoring all of its packages. Once it's done installing and restoring, you'll see it show the word ready at the bottom and keep it there. Once you see that, you're ready to play the game. This is a console app, just like the Hello World app from the very beginning of this video. In this one, you'll play a game of hide-and-seek, navigating through a house and checking the hiding places to find computer opponents. You'll also save the game using the save command. Once you're done, close this window and close Visual Studio.